What's up guys, God's Leap back with another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about what I think the greatest tool that you can use as a guardian in Destiny, and that is Destiny Item Manager, or DIM for short. Uh, this has been something I've been using for many years now, especially back early into my Destiny 1 days, and I'll explain kind of why and some of the reasons why I think you should use it and the benefits that the site can give you. If any of you have ever played Destiny 1, or maybe you just skipped on to Destiny 2, I'll explain to you how it works. So back in Destiny 1, if you wanted to move your gear from one character to another, you were on one character, you had to go down to the tower, put everything you had into the vault, switch characters, fly back down into the tower, pick it up, go back to orbit, and then go to whatever activity you wanted to do. Destiny Item Manager allows you to be able to move everything around your characters instantly without having to go to the tower or without having, having to go to the farm or anywhere else in Destiny 2. And so I've been using this for a long time and they were actually able to get the site up for Destiny 2 within like a day of it being out, which I thought was amazing and very helpful to me because I was grinding out all three of my characters the first day. So basically it allows you to move all your gear over on one single website without having to go anywhere else. Now in Destiny 2 it's a little bit easier because now you don't have to go to orbit then to the tower. You can go wherever you want to. So it is a little bit quicker but this still provides you with a more efficient and effective way to transfer your gear to each character. Now you don't have to transfer as much stuff anymore because used to you had gear that you would transfer across character for infusion but now you pretty much just do that with weapons. Another cool thing too if you want to track out what kind of ghosts you have or what kind of emblems or your emotes or even just look at your mods if you want to take a look at the mods you have before you go back to the gunsmith maybe you've already got one you can use that you can look at real quick and you can either do this you can go to chrome on your chrome browser and you can actually get a chrome extension for destiny item manager you can go through the apps over here or if you want to, you can go to this website and I'll have it down in the description. It's kind of a beta, but one of the cool things about this website is it actually lets you be able to see which of your weapons have mods on them, legendary mods, and which ones don't. So this one doesn't have a legendary mod. This one with the gold outline does. So it's a good way to keep track of what has mods and what doesn't. So some of the other cool things you can do on this site as well. If you have multiple accounts like me, uh, so I have, you know, my Destiny original on Xbox, Destiny on PlayStation, Destiny 2 on PlayStation, and my Blizzard account for if I get PC. You can go in between these however you please. So this is going to change over to my PlayStation. So here on my PlayStation, you see I've got 282, 275, 278. If I go back to my Destiny 2 Xbox, everything goes up to the 300s and the 290s. Um, if we go back to the old, like the OG Destiny Xbox, I pretty much got everything 400 light, and you can see this all here. I had everything in the game you could possibly ever want and dream for. So now we're moving on to Destiny 2. Now one of the cool things you can do with this too that's also really awesome is you can actually set up loadouts. So right here you can go to Create Loadout. And I did this a lot in Destiny 1. I haven't quite made one yet for Destiny 2 just because I have all the raid gear and trials gear and all these different sets yet. But basically you can click on, like say, the weapons. So like if you click on this one first, it's going to have this little bitty helmet in the corner. What that means is items with this icon will be equipped. Click on an item to toggle equip. So now if I click on this, it's not going to have one. So whenever you create it and you save it, you can actually name it as well. It's going to put that into the main slot every time and equip it to your character. Um, and you can also add armor as well. Now in this game, you're not going to be moving armor over to other characters, but in the previous game you would have, and it does the same thing with that as well. So if you've got a particular set you want to put on, say you've got your crucible gear on and you want to put on your raid set, you can set up all the raid gear and raid armor if you want here, and you can put a uh, hunter raid set, and then you can transfer all that over and have it equipped whenever you want to. Uh, also too, for nightfalls, this is something I did in the first game, I had a arc, void, and solar uh, loadout that I would always load in depending on what the burn was for that week. You can still do that now. Arc was heavily needed in this previous week's nightfall, so you can definitely use that as well to create those loadouts still. Another cool thing that you can also do is you can maximize your power. Uh, this way, if you're trying to keep up with everything is and you don't know what's kind of where. So say if I had the Mita over here in the vault and I couldn't see that, but I wanted to get my character to 303. If you go over here to maximize power, it says that I can go to 303. And when you click that, it's going to take it out of the vault or wherever it is. It may be on another character and it's going to transfer it over and equip it for you. And this is going to be able to maximize your power depending on what activity you're going to. Um, now, whenever you're decrypting Ingrams, it already looks at your whole account so you don't have to worry about it as much. 
but it's still there if you do need to use it. And also, once you get through doing that, you can click, uh, let me see, I did the maximize power, but there's also a button I waited too long. Um, whenever you, oh yeah, here it is, before maximizing. So let, let me show you one more time because I messed it up. So if you've got it over here in the vault and you click maximize power, okay, I maximize. It's how you want to go back to what you have. You just say before that and it's going to take it out of your um, main slot and it's going to put whatever was there back. Um, so another thing that you can do also is uh, you can make room for Postmaster. So basically what this is going to do is uh, it's going to take out anything that you would need to take off your character to be able to go down to your Postmaster and pick everything up. Very useful. And then there's another feature as well called Farming Mode, which I think is cool as, as well. So if you're trying to farm, in, uh, not Ingrams, but um, if you're trying to farm parts or uh, weapons or things like this, uh, say you're trying to farm scout rifles uh, you know, for the Mita quest. So basically you can set this up and DM is preventing items from get, going to the postmaster by making sure there's always one empty space per item type on Awoken Male Warlock. And it's very useful if you ever need to make sure you've got at least a spot open on your character no matter what, you're always going to have that there. So that's also an option. You can tell it to stop whenever you want to. Another thing that I think is really cool, especially for all this, is the, uh, where's that? So right here, you can kind of search for stuff. So if you want to search for a certain item, say I'm looking around for my Wardcliffe coal, you can put Ward in and boom, it's going to make everything invisible except for the Wardcliffe coal. So now I know where it's at. It's very useful if you're trying to look for a specific item. Say you're doing something and you want to find something that's got a certain perk. So you want to do uh, explosive rounds. So let's put in explosive and boom, it's going to show us all the weapons we got. So if we go over here, explosive payload over here, Explosive payload. So it's going to be able to tell you which weapons have certain perks on it. One final thing you can do, this was kind of cool, is you can do is and then colon dupe. And when you do that, it's going to show you all of your duplicates. So if you ever want to get rid of some stuff you don't need, this is going to show you your duplicates out here and what level they are. You can also do dupe lower. This is going to go ahead and show you the duplicates that have lower power. So I've got two Midas, one's 295, one's 305. These are going to be the ones I want to get rid of or delete. Uh, so there's also a lot of other things that you can do as well. You can kind of play around with it. You can do solar, void, kinetic, helmet, leg, gauntlet, chest, anything you want to do. There's so many things that you can do with this. It's, it really is amazing, and I love this website. Like I said, I've been using it for years now, and I would love for you to use it as well. You can either do the Chrome extension, or you can go on your phone or anywhere and go to your uh, you know, browser or whatever, and you can put in the uh, link that I'll have below in the description to go to the beta website. Um, been using it for years, like I said, love it so much. You can actually donate to them if you want to. If you go right up here to backers, you can become a sponsor if you want to. If you want to help them out um, in their endeavor to keep this site free to us and keep everything up and running. I truly love it. I hope you guys do too. If you haven't used it, please let me know in the comments if you haven't and if you're going to try it out. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have been using it, if you still enjoy it. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys, for the video. I love this website. Go definitely give it a try. Um, let me know what you think of it in the comments. Make sure you subscribe for more Destiny 2 videos and tips, and I will see you in the next video.